Cause I'ma keep it G real. I don't fuck with you cause you disrespecting me. You disrespect my hood by telling me take off my flag asking how gangster I was, nigga. You lucky on that day I was acting cool cuz I told you I ain't got time for that, but nigga, today I got time, cuz. It don't matter, pistol gang, bitch. Right. But nigga, you came up on me on some fuck shit, nigga. I don't make peace with niggas that come up on me on some disrespectful shit when I didn't even know you, nigga. What's you up, walked Chris? up on me and set down your beer like, nigga, what? what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? Huh? How gangster are you, nigga? I'll show you how gangster I am, nigga. You can drop off your kid and run right. my face. You ain't hearing it. Exactly. Exactly, nigga. I go hard, cuz. You don't want to fuck with me. Shout out Southside, shout out hashtag DJ DJ, shout DJ out hashtag DJ motherfucking unbeknownst, and we back at it, baby. And testing, in the building, in one, two, and I. <laughs> Got the Enduli for the yeah, song. Yeah, hey. Got the Enduli for the song. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no. hey, Talented Minds Podcast, episode 11, and we're back in the building. Hey! Building. How you guys doing out there? It's been a... Long time. It's been a long time since the last time we told you years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, but nah, on some, on some real for real shit. Hey, How y'all doing out there, man? Um, what you I know, mean? if you find this for the first time, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, man, like DJ DJ in the building, DJ unbeknownst in the building. That way, man, we're doing it like that, and it's going down like that. First and foremost, we want to spread a lot of love and peace, peace man. I think that's something that us as people have to practice every day. As these people have to move forward with love, man. And, I think, and I think particularly it's the, in in uh, St. in St. Louis, Missouri, man. Shout you know, out to the world. Just, God, it's it's a lot of hate, period, in this world, and it's got a lot of people tense and and really tripping. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this past Sunday, man, was a a really wild Sunday and stuff, man. Uh, rest in peace Sunday. to Corey, Corey Hall. Uh, rest in peace to the 19 year old girl that got killed. Um, she had a one month old daughter. Um, Corey Hall was partying at um, Ballpark Village, and a fight broke out. And you know he he died from that fight that broke out there. And uh, it was a lot of other Gunshot killings going head, on man. in the city too, too man. Down, it's man. just like yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 very senseless. And we just want to say, man, like you know, there's been stopped the violence rallies and protests and all that shit and i just think we just really just need to reinforce peace and love bro like yeah man i think especially parents, grown y'all need to bro, hug y'all kids guess. like what's up with what's up with these cats bro like bro real shit because yeah. y'all niggas need to slow down bro i'm trying to y'all even trying to you will bust at the lady like bro, yeah bro, come on bro. yeah come on you know what i'm saying like it, it, it's crazy man it's really crazy man Corey hall had um he had just got married two weeks ago, and um, and that day was his birthday. Sunday was his birthday. Dude died on his birthday, so it's just sad, man. It's, it's very senseless, you know. And uh, yeah, man, just Fuck peace that, and love, man. man. Peace and love, you know. Re and with that, that do mind, something good every day, you know what I'm we saying? We gonna keep this shit going, man. On this good pies, man. Yeah, good pies, man. St. Louis, man. hold your head up. It's getting hot out. Yeah, it's getting hot. To, you know what I'm saying? Make good decisions, man. Don't yeah, be quick to use that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The demo, man. For real, for real, man. You and, know. and Bill Bill Cosby. And Bill That's the Bill Cosby. Man, so was it the one chick that looked I'm like sad, Jerry Seinfeld? Actually. Is that the one that he straight lost on the case on? The chick that she looked just like Jerry Seinfeld. Man, we I'm talking like, about that, man. I'm that like, shit is fam, like, nigga, if you did jam with her, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? It's you just, scary, man. It's scary, <laughs> dog. Like, I don't know if that man, like, was. You know, I don't know them details, y'all. So it's like, I'm trying to go off of, like, the same shit y'all going off on. Mm -hmm. He say, she say. Yeah, that's all he you say. That's all you really she say. And, and it kind of take YouTube, it. YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. It take it to, like, okay, I understand we have the Me Too movement right now. I really feel for women who they may have been touched or abused or something like that. And some of them may be scared to straight speak out at the moment. You know, but also I feel like 
what about the women that may be lying about that shit too? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like the women that really did go through it. They don't nobody want to hear their voices. You know what I'm saying? And but there are women that just says see, that there are women that are lying too. You see, know the what point I'm saying? You make is what brings me to I don't I don't know. Like I think this is maybe a um, a problem for a lot of people. It's like you know Bill Cosby built the reputation. He did so much good, basically, bruh. He did so much good, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. So many people who can attest to goddamn me closing line. Bro, y'all know cartoons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot like of good number things. One, like one like, the, number, the top TV shows it's, in it's the hard, 80s, bro. It's hard for somebody to... Showcasing a black family at that, though. A black successful yeah, family. Bro, thousands, the father's a I doctor. I would literally say thousands Mother was things, a lawyer. Bro. Kids going to college. They married Marines. It was just Real, like bro. a lot of that like... That's going on, man. Yeah, so it, it really go on. For a reason. This this dude has done a lot, dog. Yeah. His influence was was is great, right? Yeah. So it's hard to imagine, like, you know, that it just might be like, I don't know, man. I can't and, I can't and, take that and then just totally dismiss basically what the ladies saying too. Like, yeah, that's what I'm, this, that's what I was. You know what I'm saying? Just to. because it's Bill Cosby, I can't. Yeah, be like, yeah. He, you can't. He, it's like it is. It sucks because you gotta be in the human, middle. Like, you know? yeah, we're human at the end of the day. And it's just like, does that automatically make him a bad person? Like, I feel like somebody that you would consider a bad person would literally have to be like a, you're a monster type shit. Like, even when it comes to like domestic violence, like how Khalees said that Nas was an abuser or whatever. But she also said that she antagonized the situation a lot of times too. But it's just like motherfuckers take, they don't even take that. She said she was an antagonist. They take the fact that he's an abuser and as a man, he shouldn't be doing that. And it's just like, well, okay then. But if she says she's an antagonist, then that's proof that there are people that antagonize people. Wait, there are people an that are a person that like you start shit for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you just want to fuck and, with a person. And, you, you antagonize You antagonize them. them. I want to get you riled up just to see your reaction and shit like that. And then this person may hit you too. You know what I'm saying? So I think sometimes, yeah, sometimes you might be in more of a defense mode than more of an attack mode. I feel like a person that would be technically a bad person for that shit would be a person that was just like, I'm on that shit constantly. Like, just because it's Wednesday, it's Thursday, like I've been on this shit every day. That's a person I'll be like, yo, that's a that's a person that needs help. That's a bad person. You know who another influential motherfucker who make me, you, Nas. Yeah. You used to say him. Nas is another, he, you know, rapper. Queensbridge. We was up there. You yeah, we was up there. We walked on grounds, show my niggas some love, bro. I'm announced. Yeah, I'm being honest. Yeah. To everybody, we got to move in silence, you know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, man, I think that situation with him and old girl. Yeah, you know? it's just like after all these years, you come out and say something, and it's just like, you know, as much as I want to believe you, but I also know that shit like this happens all the time because you said that you're an antagonist. So that means that men and women, both, they can be an antagonist and one can be a victim. It's not just that a woman's going to be a victim. A man can be a victim in the situation, too. There are women that abuse men, too. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, how about we get to this point where it shouldn't be a whole, uh, shouldn't no man put his sex, hands on a woman. It should be, uh, nobody should put their hands on anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because women can be antagonists, can, too. Women can be antagonists, yeah, too. Agree, you know, and you can't expect everybody's not going to react the same. I had a conversation with a gentleman who said that he had boiling hot water poured on him and that he got hit upside the head with a pot. Somebody else would have whooped her ass, but he was like, but I, I held my composure. But knowing that somebody, that for her to do that, she was, at, she was anticipating you to react to that. You know what I'm saying? She was trying to kill you. She was trying to hurt you. And you walked away from that. A lot of people wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? So is it like the person that didn't, would he be wrong? Would he be a monster, bro? You know what I'm saying? Straight up. When it's like, are we going to deny the fact that she's the monster and maybe he's living in fear? Or he could be the monster and maybe she's living in fear. It goes both ways. It's not just one way. So I think people that are toxic, people that have mental health issues, you should not get in a relationship for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You need to find yourself and seek help for yourself you before detox, you get man. yeah, before you get with somebody, bro. Straight up and waste their time and you scare the shit out of them. Then they go to the next relationship and might be torn and broken from it. You know what I'm saying? From those effects, like it was a chick that said that her um 
she said she saw her mom get abused her whole life so she naturally hated men from there and so when she got with her husband her ex-husband she was abusive to him you know what i'm saying she put she beat his ass and he wouldn't do nothing back and she said she had went to therapy for it and it was like oh yeah because you saw your mom get abused her whole life you know what i'm saying so you just developed this hatred towards men that's something that you know what i'm saying that's crazy bro so i just feel like like it goes back to spreading peace and love bro like no dude we need this I, yeah, it's hot. Yeah. We need yeah. a lot of love in this world, bro. We need it. We really need it. It's people that want a lot of hate, a lot of evilness. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, like for real, bro. Walk with God, dog. That's all I can really say. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, bro. I let bro. a motherfucker hypnotize you, bro. You heard of hypnosis? Hell yeah, hypnosis though. It could it technically if a motherfucker joined the cult, could they kind of can they be under some hypnosis? You feel like? All right, y'all. That's what I heard. When you get hypnotized, right, you gotta ha you gotta be imaginative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't let me hypnotize you right now. I ain't. I'm just saying. I'm trying to put y'all on game of how it works. Yeah. So if I take a pendulum or I let a motherfucking circle and a spiral spin at you and have you look upward, I can induce your eyes, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I can jumpstart your REM state and put you in what's called a primary recuperative state. And basically, you'll be like in REM where you dream because when you when you go to sleep eventually like when you're in deep sleep you're in a REM state so it's like i jump start that yeah. by having your eyes look upward this is how hypnosis works bro. yeah like like uh, you remember uh at i uh did you go to like the graduation party at the graduation and they kind of they bro, put this shit, in this shit hypnosis. Is real, bro. if if you think if y'all people think that uh hypnosis like if you can't be mesmerized, you don't think it's that somebody can mesmerize you then you might be the one who being mesmerized. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. like, because literally, Brad, if a person could could seduce you, because basically it's just like, it just basically, man, you got to be imaginative and then you, yeah. you let someone induce you into, like, it's all about your eyes, man. You let yeah. somebody, like, induce you into. And I feel like you can straight see a motherfucker aura and straight just be like, yo, like, I don't know if y'all niggas people, saw that there was some, some orange beaming, but it was some orange noises. beaming from over there. So just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like it's, it's like, so do you think kind of like, is that how a person may spot their, like, like that's, that's the one, like the soulmate, you know what I'm saying? Like you think some of them may have like, just like you caught her, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. And some the cutting was just like, damn. Like, if you put a whole bunch of random people in the classroom and it's 25 people and you try to hypnotize them, yeah, it'd probably be like, you know, maybe like even 10 people who don't get hypnotized, you know, so yeah. they wouldn't buy that shit from the jump. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, uh, that, 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 like a, it might be like 10 people, bro, on me, bro, who they're straight and fell into that. They man. fell into that recuperative state. Yeah. That's all hypnotist is, bro. I'm telling you, I ain't, I ain't, I don't, I'm not a hypnotist. Yeah. But I, but I probably you don't could. Think you got be. no swagoo like that, though. The sky's the limit, <laughs> goddamn me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You, you can tell a motherfucker. You can hypnotize somebody, dog. If somebody's susceptible to it, who's very yeah. imaginative, and tell them, you know what I'm saying? Like, or could it, listen could to it, me. Go into a dream state. Bam! Right now, you sleep. And then or you wake could up. it be like? Would it be imaginative, or could it be weak minded? No, Perhaps. bro. Don't people. Well, bro. Or it's just an imagination. Real, like, I'm telling you, bro. It's a state that you go into. Is what uh, I'm saying, dog. Okay. It. It's, it's a state where you go into where it's like you in a rim. When you dream, you in a rim, bro. Yeah. It's it's where your heart beating fast and everything. Your eyes are twitching, all that shit, bro. Yeah. It's it's that state, but you still aware. So it's kind of like a vivid dream. So why you in that state and I induced you into it? Because it's like, all right, I'm, you look into a, you you focus somebody's eyes upward because that's yeah. what I'm telling you, bro. You, you, it's a physical thing and it's mental. Like yeah. I was telling you about plants and shit. Like, yeah. So you, it's the focus of the eyes, and then with that, bro, you get, you get, you know what I'm saying, somebody to be into that state where you can tell them, okay, right now you a chicken, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're very relaxed, you straight. sleep, right now you sleep, bam, you know what I'm saying, and pass out, huh, man, yeah, damn, that's crazy. Right now you wide awake, you're a grandmaster, you can cry, blah, 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 it's like whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You be scared but, to go under hypnosis, you know? Ain't nobody hypnotizing me, but I think I can hypnotize somebody. <laughs> what if it's like, uh, I don't know, like, 
It's know. real, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell. Like, what, 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 the, what would be the reason a motherfucker... Okay, it's, like, it's, hypnotherapy. It's different forms of hypnosis that people just, like, not... They not teaching this shit in schools like we always be trying to talk about, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about live on others. Bro, it ain't, it's a lot of things they, you know, you won't learn in school that, that if you get out of here, bro, and, like, dig into it, you'll peak what's really going on, bro. It's is like it a, so much going on. Is it possible to move something with your mind, you feel? Like, what I'm do they call that? It's like, okay, let's let's just say that you made a discovery, right? Yeah. How would you go about spreading that information to the world? Is what without just coming like flat you out? You discover like, something, bro. I discover something. Let me spread this information. What you gonna do? Nigga, I personally would Put tell a on few. The internet, bro. But I like I would tell a few of the homies first. Like I ain't just finna come right out and straight just. Inform niggas, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Put that shit on the internet, bro. That should have take that shit to the to yeah to the mass. The world. Yeah, like like nigga, you discovered the Loch Ness monster and shit. Like I I straight I say you that nigga, bro. Real picture. <laughs> 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 straight. A lot of fake shit out there. Yeah, you know I mean, it's, those technically myths and shit, like real Loch Ness real. monsters and shit. Yeah. Did you uh you checked out that Infinity War done? I heard about it, man. That motherfucker mm. is radical, dog. I heard it's illmatic, man. It they is. Do, it's, it's very illmatic. They broke records nigga. and everything. Yeah, so, like, yeah. They they out. broke the box office, boy. Straight up, but it was it was hella dope, man. Shout out to all you people that don't watch Marvel movies or know anything about it. So y'all yeah, came out the movie hella mad and shit, like like y'all really thought that that was supposed to be what it was supposed to be, like. So you niggas is straight stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know the screw you. Yeah, loser. yeah, you're a loser. You're a fucking, you're loser. fucking dweeb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking... hey, bro, you, you know what I'm no proud of? I'm a thousander, bro. And I just this dawned on me, right? Yeah. I don't got millions yet, but I got thousands. Yeah. So yeah, technically... being a thousander isn't bad, bro. Hey, nigga, technically, I'm. Hey, I'm a thousander. Yeah, I'm you go a thousander. Man. If I had hundreds, I'd be a hundreder. But the point is, I could take a couple a dollars couple of those bands. and invest them into companies, and then mm -hmm. probably flip them. Right, and still have and still have a little bit left, and still it. have a little bit left. So what I'm saying to all my thousanders out there, if you got a thousand, let's talk about the ways that you can go ahead and make it a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a thousand dollars out there, my brother. Go ahead and invest that shit into something that's going to triple it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, heard. Yeah. For uh, turn your credit into yeah. some cash too. You heard? Yeah, All right, this come from nigga used to work in the banking industry. I'm just saying, I heard that you can always invest into an electrical company because utility ain't going nowhere. Mm. You know? Toilet paper ain't going nowhere either, nigga. And you know what? Another thing that's going to be a very scarce resource, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next to <laughs> own. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's some straight agua in this yeah. motherfucker, dog. So they find another aquifer, but I don't think that's Hey, have you ever sat and thought about are transgenders allowed in sororities and fraternities? <laughs> yeah. I, like, are are they passing that yet? Like, have, have they have, led them in the that, army yet? Ever, like, can uh, I are they in the or something called uh, you know what, bro? That's above. That's above my brain capacity. Yeah, 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 bro, your pay grade. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? That's right above my pay grade. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Bro. Line is wrong. <laughs> Sound effect insert. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Man, yeah, no. I can't comprehend on that one, bro. I, I will say it's, though, it's, it's like so many rules and shit, that dog. Like it's so many rules. It's hella letters because like you I asked me if a transgender is in any uh so sororities or fraternities. Yeah, facts. I don't know if any transgender has been fraternized or <laughs> sororitized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we'll, we'll, we don't know. know it. Shout out to my nigga Julian Gilliam out in Japan right now. Hey, man. <laughs> shout out to Asia, goddamn me. Yeah, shout out, shout out. That's hell hella dope, today, man. Bro. Ain't it dope, like, just knowing niggas, man, they out here straight traveling the world, man. But Julian, yeah, man, we Julian. need to talk, man. What happened to that Deloney video, punk? Yeah, Julian Gilliam is a great photographer. Yeah. I know this up there in Asia and Tokyo. Spreading he's just way. a creative dude in general. I just seen that he was uh, 
trying to do something like for his like the little cousins, the little young people in his family to uh come intern with his little company and shit on trying to do art and whatever. So I was like, yeah, like that's hella dope, bro. Like it's like shit like that that people don't realize that you can do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize your power. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you. Right, a right. lot of people sit around and wait for people to do shit for them or tell them that that shit is cool or. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I really seen my dude Julian come from. You know what I'm saying? Like I grew up with that nigga, so it's just like to see him doing a lot of major shit lets you know that it's a possibility, especially where we come from. You know what I'm saying? So you, I think you just got to create your own opportunities, your own dreams. You got to put yourself next to shit. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, bro. You know, boss up, man. Straight up, it's time to boss up, man. Lead your life, shit. Yeah, man, and then um, I don't know, man. St. Louis. I was the other day, man. I was trying to go get something to grub, real quick, real fast, cause I was home, and I went to Delmar Loop, which is like a very famous, popular place in St. Louis. So yeah. it's supposed to be good. Mondo, Mondo, awesome place. Ooh. It's Mondo. Bro, ain't, <laughs> ain't nowhere to get. It ain't even place. Mondo, dog. Ain't nowhere to get none of. Eat, man. I'm like, well, Mission Taco was over there. You could have went up and they got some yeah. little young tacos and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got like the little Baja. Mission Taco is the only. Oh, that's the is only that place. Is that the only quick, bro, quick joint? The yeah, they it's ain't like, got like no, no little young burger spot right there. It seemed like a lot of shit they got over there is more sit down than literally, like you said, just like. Quarter 17. It's only, man. I, I ain't Yeah, what well, they got? Ice just cream just and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, the only quick bite you can get. Nah, man, it just seemed like to me, man, in St. Louis, it's hard to get good quality food options. Yeah, it's not, bro. And, it's not and, a lot of shit. And bro. to be honest, it seemed like to me, it's like a fucking, it's almost like a mask. And mm-hmm. it's like they, it's like a facade almost like, yeah, we got food, but where is the food, nigga? I'm trying to find good, healthy food options. I want a good salad. Bro, it ain't nowhere. Yeah, it ain't nowhere. Especially like at nighttime, real late at night. I feel like, you know, if, even if you one of those people that's drunk and you gonna eat after the club, you know what I'm saying? I just think kind of like. You ain't gonna get no it, salad option. Yeah, you can't get no salad option at that point in time. I can't go get like a young, like, uh, real grilled chicken, food. like, you know what I'm saying? Baked chicken joint, you know what I'm saying? It could be like a baked chicken wrap I should be able to get. Like, if I'm hungry late night, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it ain't a lot of shit. All you got left is fucking White Castle, some McDonald's, some rallies. You know, everything is just burger spots and shit. And, you know, because I worked overnight for a long time. And I seen this girl that I worked with, and uh, she was saying that, dude, she gained so much weight working overnight because it was like uh, not a lot of, we, we only had bad shit to eat overnight. You know what I'm saying? From the yeah. store to even like, oh, there's a, it's a White Castle in the parking lot, bro. McDonald's down the street, Jack in the Box, not far from this motherfucker. Or you can go to Denny's and shit. Denny's is open and Steak and Shake. We was like right in that area of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not Get your you slop on. Budget, by the way. Huh? Speaking. Pardon me? I don't want to be feeling like I'm endorsing a major corporate brand because... <laughs> Technically speaking, all of you guys that he just mentioned, man, y'all everywhere. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. All you motherfuckers, man. Anybody that we can name right now, man, y'all everywhere. And it's like, I don't know. We continued on that one, man. <laughs> yeah. Y'all monopolizing on us, man. But look, I got a question, man. I wanted to ask everybody out there who's listening to us, what is your favorite drink? If you drink. What is it? Is yeah, it what is, is your it favorite Patron? drink? Is, is it Kila? Is it Patron? Is you got to get your island. quiet storm voice on this yeah, shit. Is, yeah. it island, long, long is, it, is it Patron? Is it you want a Long Island? Uh, Cosmo Pop. Straight up, nigga, straight should have had the goddamn me uh, Jodeci playing in the background. Okay. This shit, <laughs> is a straight, is a straight little infomercial, real quick. <laughs> But yeah, dog, all jokes aside, man, yeah, that's the that's the contest and shit, man. We gonna throw up the details, you know what I'm saying? And um yeah, man, let us know y- y'all favorite drinks. What's y'all favorite type yeah, of drink? Man, you drinks know what on saying? us, man. We're gonna buy drinks on bottle. us, you heard? Straight bottle and stuff. But man, you gotta hey, when you see the details, you gotta get your participate on too though. I mean, we ain't we ain't just, you know, 
giving out mad bottles like yeah to the Not whole to the whole hood. Yeah, Moet. Yeah, Moet. Yeah, if it's man, your birthday, what we in tourist is, season now? Got you. Shout out to all the tourists in the building. My nigga Bun birthday coming up. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. May, it's tourist season. May niggas, ooh. then the Gemini's at the end of the month. They crazy asses and shit, bro. You know, shout out to the Gemini's, man. Like your boy Kanye, easy. And maybe remind Too you, Too peasy. Man. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't it's, do what? Every time it get warm, motherfuckers want the bus. Man, man, please, man. You know what I'm saying? When was the last time it was a summer where niggas didn't? Bus Go crazy, other, yeah. I had to be hella young, bro. I'm challenging all you niggas out here, man, man. Like, if somebody, if, if I got a head out here, bro, yo, don't like me, man. Let's bang. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, just put them up. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got to do, man. We can walk away, go back to our kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for real, man. You got kids, you got family. It don't need to be one of us sitting in jail and shit, bro, around a bunch of hard legs, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, this shit straight lame as fuck, bro. Like, niggas could have prevented that shit. Like, was it, was it really worth bodying a nigga for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, a lot of it don't even be worth it, bro. Like, niggas run straight to the gun and, and it's whack because I remember a point in time where it didn't seem like it was that bad, bro. Where, you know, it wasn't a lot of niggas dying, bro. You know, and it just seemed like in these last few years, though, probably, probably what these last five, I may say, you know, yeah. it been it been like hottest, hotter than most. You hear me? But when we was real young, it wasn't that bad because niggas were still banging, bro. Niggas <laughs> was straight still, you know what I'm saying, throwing hands, bro. So it was just like. I remember one nigga pulled out a, a twenty two on us, bro. And we just looked at the nigga like, hmm. <laughs> I it was a cat cop with a twenty two on the on the block, bro. Then we caught some AKs, bro. It was like, yeah, we walking around copping that bullshit. Yeah. What what he say, bro? He was like, I guess I shit. I guess I'll go home now. Dude, we got smoke, bro. You walking around? He literally, so. bro. This dude was walking around on the block, bro. It's people laying up with AKs. You walking around with a fucking twenty two, copping it. Where everybody could see you, mm -hmm. the same Casper who was they talking shit. They were just shit. happy he had the heat, bro. That's same all. dudes who was talking shit to some ladies walking up the street. Disrespected them. And then 30 minutes later, a van pulled up and some ladies hop out with masks on and some motherfucking assault rifles. They wasn't AKs. <laughs> I don't know what they was. They was assault rifles. They would have wet them motherfuckers up. Yeah. And I thought them niggas was going to get wet up. But they put their hands up. They ain't kill them. But they... They was going to. <laughs> this the South Side, bro. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is what goes on, bro. They they was about to kill them boys. Like, yeah, all all them bets are man. all bets are off and shit. Like. Yeah, man. Don't go around cotton twenty twos if any of you cats out here doing that. Stupid yeah, though, shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll chop you up. Yeah, shit. straight up. Especially now where everybody happy they got a Draco. I seen I seen I seen a nigga ask that shit. He was straight just like so. Everybody got Dracos in they raps now, bro. Like, cause it's the cool gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is it the coolest gun around? Or handgun with a thirty round clip on it? I just got to get the job done bro. real quick, on bro. I got a handgun get with an extended clip. I don't got a handgun with a drum, cause it's like my accuracy gonna be off. Walking around with a handgun with a drum. I don't yeah. know, man. This shit ain't better do the job too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I just think it's more showboating than it is what it is. But I mean, it, for guns, the problem with guns, bro, it goes back to the old classic, like, you know, guns. What's that shit, bro? Guns don't kill people. People, people kill people. Which yeah. is true. It's like, yeah, bro, a gun is a gun. Like, Straight idiots, though. <laughs> some people walk around and they afraid of people who, civilians who've been licensed. Yeah. Like like you, bro, me, yeah. bro, we, we got we certified, you know what I'm saying? We got gun license and been trained by trainers, but it's like if I walk into a place, a person would probably be scared of me, but if a dick uh if but if a police officer walk into the place, you ain't scared of him, but it's like, come on, man. I mean yeah. I use my gun at the right time, it ain't no telling when the motherfucker might use that shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think it just go. It goes back to the man, peace and love, dog. Straight up, 
Love and happy now. <laughs> it just goes back to that, man. We need a lot of that in the world, man. Let's continue to move forward, progress as people, you know. I just like we we really need to progress as people, bro. As humans, bro. Cause you know, I was thinking I was saying earlier, bro, like uh like bro, if if motherfuckers wasn't taught what they were taught or seen what they've seen, then it'd be like say you just happen to look at like it's a white dude right there, it's a black chick right there. It'd just be like, oh, look at those people. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be like, oh, look at that white dude and that black chick. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, it's just things that we've been taught over time where we just don't even yeah, look at each other. Like, motherfucking we humans, by the bro. cover or whatever. Because that shit is something that we all got to learn. And even I'm, you know, I ain't yeah. preaching to the choir because I'm not, of course, I'm no preacher. But it's like, shit, I, I know that's the truth. Yeah. You know, it take a real motherfucker just to be like, yeah, bro, that's, that's just what it is i'm just trying to verbalize it or yeah. say it or some shit but it's like you know yeah yeah bro don't don't talk that shit bro don't walk the walk man mm -hmm. perhaps get your walk the walk on you heard but uh it was a pleasure doing business with you assholes and uh we'll catch you guys later mm -hmm. on oh uh, yeah man. um city greens pro-am basketball tournament Three on three, guys, get your sign ups on. It's a fifty dollar entry fee at www.sclcgreens.org. Winner gets two hundred, and winner gets two hundred. The winning team, man. So sign your team up, dog. Three you on know, three charity. Come tournament. out there, get crossed over by my guys. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, like I might get out there with the old school Chuck Taylors on. You hear me? Straight. <laughs> nah, hell no, nah. nigga. You you a goddamn me bust break an ankle with the old school mom. <laughs> so, like, That's May twelfth to apply. May twelfth, two thousand eighteen, the day before Mother's Day. So uh, parking lot of the gramophone. Heck yeah, dude. It's going down, man. What else is going down? Anything else going down? Hey, it's May, man. Stay tuned. We're gonna be back, man, with some more shit. Special guests. We got that bottle waiting for whoever. Yeah, we got that bottle. We're just gonna do it because. We, we just be with. doing shit. We do this, do this, you know, do this, do this. We'll toast one to you. And we're out. Cheers. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.